Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. A few months ago, Starthy and I installed the Corsair H159i Pro RGB all-in-one water cooler on his Intel i7-7700K system, and we showed you guys how to install it. It's probably been our most viewed video to date. I'm guessing from the title of the video, you can see where this is going. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that itty little bell to receive notifications. We upload multiple times per week, so yeah, make sure that you're subscribed. Also, we've got a Discord community, so come and have a chat with us. The link to that is down below. So, as the story goes, Starthy decided that he wanted to make the switch to Ryzen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Corsair H159 Pro RGB on a Ryzen base AM4 socket motherboard. This is going to be a pretty quick one since we covered how to install the fans and the radiator and all of that jazz in the first video. So yeah, if you haven't seen that or check that out, there is a link in the top right hand corner right now. And yeah, you can check that out in your own time. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get right into it and show you how to install this guy. This video is brought to you by Cooler Master and the Master Keys MK750 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Featuring a fast, modern Type-C connection, comfortable magnetic wrist rest, and on-board macro recording. The Cooler Master Master Keys MK750. Game smarter, not harder. Find out more about the keyboard in the link in the description. So we're going to attach the H159i to these plastic brackets that are included on every single AM4 board, just like so. And it actually goes over the top and it attaches to these hooks that you can see at the end of each of my fingers with this bracket right here. It just sits on top and there's other little bits that go through that hole to actually attach it. And these are the bits here. So you'll see there is a hook that hooks onto the side of the bracket and a thumb screw. And basically the way it works is you put this through the hole and the thumb screw bolt nut thing on the other side and it actually fastens it and pulls the cooler to the board. So what we're going to do is actually attach that bracket to the cooler. It's pretty straightforward. You just put it in these four holes and rotate and it locks into place. Right, so let's get this guy actually installed. Because we've used this cooler before, we put some fresh thermal paste on the CPU ready to go. But I'm sure you guys will know how to do that if you're doing this. Now, this will take a little bit of massaging to get right. It takes a little bit of, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit fiddly sometimes. These mechanisms I've found, uh, like I said, they're fiddly at first, but they usually have more mounting pressure than you traditionally find with the other coolers that use the four points. So yeah, I actually think that these are better for AM4 sockets. And yeah, what you want to do is just attach them until they're super tight and the nuts will stop rotating. So don't worry, you're not going to break anything. Right, let's just get these nice and tight and make sure they're good. Mm, yep, yeah, I think I think we're good. Right, let's move along and see what we need to do next. All right, we're going to connect up the PWM header to the CPU opt power to power the pump. Now, most modern motherboards and pretty much every single AM4 board I've seen actually has something for AIOs to connect. And all you do is plug it in and you'll be good to go. Let's move on. So like I mentioned earlier, we've actually got the radiator and fans already mounted. Uh, there is a video in the top right hand corner right now. Where's the finger, Nicholas? There it is. And you can check that out in your time to see how we did that. Right. Now we're just going to double check so you guys can see where we actually plugged this in. So it makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, right. Now we're going to move on to the SATA power. You need this to power the pump itself as well. And you're going to need these snaky little guys. Man, hold still. You guys are moving around way too much. No, come on, man. Okay. Oh. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the SATA power and the PWM for the fan connectors and push them through the back of your case so you, we can hook them up later. And yeah, I'm just jamming in them in the hole just like so. And look, guys, no hands and the cables are moving. How is that happening? Who? Ooh, whose hand is that? That is someone else's hand that I've never seen before. Yeah, ooh, maybe I'm going to give him a hand. You've got really nice hands. They're a bit hairier than I'm used to. Anyway, uh, we're going to connect the USB. <laughs> we're going to connect the USB to do all the RGBing and the controlling. And yeah, that plugs into the side of Le Pump just like so pretty straightforward and you just plug that other end of that into a motherboard header for usb 2 on your motherboard 
Last but not least, well not really last, almost last, we're plugging in the fan connectors for the fans on the radiator. Really, really straightforward stuff. Don't worry about that, the other cable laying around up the top. That's for something completely different, not related to this build. And SATA power gets plugged in just like that. Nice and easy. And now you have a H115i Pro RGB installed on your brand new AM4 based motherboard. If you have any questions about installing the H115i Pro on an AM4 socket, drop a comment down below or come and join us in Discord and have a chat. All of the products mentioned and all of the things mentioned in this video can be purchased down below via our affiliate links. Don't forget we've got a giveaway going on right now with our friends at Cooler Master. There is a link to that in the top right hand corner right now if you want to enter for a chance to win a Cooler Master Master Keys MK750. Woo! That was a bit of a mouthful, Nicholas. Anyway, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do by now and tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. I think it's time to make some, some fresh new music. What do you guys think? Let me know down below.